I like how you covered up your own voice, Crow. Like, I couldn't hear anything you were just trying to say <laughs> over that fucking yeah, baby. Good job. Yeah, I, I timed it greatly. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Completely forgot I was doing it and I carried on speaking. But, but yeah, we've actually been setting the call for like since like 12 noon for me, so about six hours waiting for uh, Shadai. Um, <laughs> yeah, how's everyone doing anyway? How's chat? That's about right. Yeah. Always oh, uh... <laughs> waiting on Shy. Everyone's asleep, probably, because I mean, if we're not <laughs> counting us four, probably in the chat, there's like three people here. <laughs> <laughs> Generally, people don't come to my stream that quickly in these times. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, they're not that excited to hear my uh, uh, beautiful British accent. Uh, and, and this is sultry Swedish tones. <laughs> borps. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's like, yeah, how, do we, yeah. how do we podcast anymore? It's been like a month, a month and a half of Smasher passing Pokemon. How the fuck are we supposed to go back, you know? <laughs> uh, uh, smash. Smash, smash. Yeah, wanna go, smash. wanna smash her past Digimon? Uh, oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> well, actually, that's a, that's a topic. That's an interesting one. Like, like, with Digimon, right? Whenever you watched it, like, with Pokemon, at least most of the time, like, the evolution sort of makes sense. Like, they're, they're at least the same colors. But with Digimon, it's like, it just fucks everything over. I swear, I remember one was, like, a cat like transforms into a dinosaur which then transforms into a robot or something ridiculous and you just think what the fuck no, is no. going on each more or less each digimon had a, a more or less a, an adult mature form plus a mech form <laughs> <laughs> they could switch <laughs> between it, them yeah. nice i never watched digimon I never know. i'm sure most of you in chat and i know i have been seeing a lot of the I am. It's Morbin time memes from it's that show. Morbin's dead back. I'm gonna morb. It's <laughs> fucking stupid. Huh? Uh, and this doesn't. And this doesn't go on Twitter, so he doesn't know about this uh, shit. So he misses out. And Sig of, is a uh, boomer, so I mean, like, of I'll course he wins. <laughs> I'm only like four years older than you. Uh, probably he's forty years older. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> let's, just, uh, let's just smooth over the fact that me and Sig are pretty much the same age. Uh, anyway, <laughs> both you boomer. 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 Uh, no, I don't know what generation I'll, I'll we're on. <laughs> Who knows <laughs> anymore? Mighty Morbin well, I, Vampire. I think actually, right. If I remember right, yeah, Mighty Morbin Vampire. If you remember right, we are. So people were born from I think it's nineteen nineties. <laughs> like 2000 and something like seven or something like that millennials. is millennial yeah and then the next one is like zoomers so that's generation z Wait, is there a generation x between that i think that's no i think after, that's the next one? one or is it before i don't fucking know x i remember there's y as well it's either coming up or something it's just so confusing i might be completely wrong about this it might just be like zxy Wait, what? <laughs> Yeah, I think I, it's millennials then X then Z. What I now, think so X Z Y? What the fuck? I mean, that makes sense. <laughs> but the funny thing is, though, if that's the case, then where the fuck are the X generation? Like, all I see is like talk about boomers from the sixties. Just <laughs> millennials. People forget about the X. Boomers. <laughs> yeah, people forget. No, no one gives a fuck. If you can't we don't meme talk it, about. Who cares? We don't talk about the X Men. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go. Like the lost generation or something. He's great. Oh dear. For us, right? Because we all we all consume at least a little bit of anime, like you know, on the side. But what do you think? What do you guys think is like? What makes a good anime? If you know what I mean. Titties. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. <laughs> Big uh, old anime titty. Clear. The plot. <laughs> the plot. <yeah. laughs> Two plots. Uh, fuck. Try to adjust this music. There we go. Two big bouncy plots. <laughs> Could be bigger. Fancy. No, as he was saying, dude. <laughs> uh, uh, honestly, I guess stories best thing. Well, animation is really big for me. Mm. Like, for me, I think it's uh, it's, it is like a, it's a combination between like the animation, the art itself, and of course the story. But I think the story is the one that really leads it. If you know what I mean? Because like. Yeah. 
I can watch. Although it's a bit more difficult when it's like a like janky sort of um, low value production. Um, like or, anything that's you know, 3D if... animated. <laughs> well, some, I don't know. That's 3D animation. I'm not. It's not too bad. What's his name? Oh, there was a... I mean, come on. 3D VTuber, for example. Fuck that yeah. shit. Disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> but like, what I mean is like the style where... <clears throat> what was that one show? Uh, that deal with the big sword? Berserk. Yeah. Like oh, did, no. Uh, that was just... No, uh, no cloud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> Fuck clouds. <laughs> Bish. But yeah, that, like, that style of animation is like 3D-ish. But it's really bad. That's mm. the one I'm thinking of right now. Yeah, that that would really let it down. That was the most. You mean Berserk version, from the it's nineties? No, no, the night. The nineties no, no, was good. The two thousands was when they did yeah. it. The two thousand version they did the three D and they made it look awful. So the nineties version, which actually is still pretty good. From what because, I remember. Uh, like there's some other animes that do it that style too, and it's just awful. I don't know though, because like there was uh, an anime called was it Gatchaman, and it was like pretty much all 3D, all the way Wait, through. Was it? it was actually really, really good. Was it like, this story recent? Really it was yeah. in 2016. Yeah, it was yeah. the Berserk one. Holy yeah, fuck! Yeah. And it was that bad. I, I didn't realize it was that recent. <laughs> or well, six years is not exactly recent anymore, but nah, they're old. My team was cute back in the day. <laughs> Back in the good old days of shitty anime. <laughs> I can't think 2016 was before I even got into anime. Like, I wouldn't even know what it was at that point. <laughs> Amateur. <laughs> <laughs> what went wrong, eh? <laughs> I was watching anime in school. I think oh, I was too. too. Yeah, the most anime that I watched like outside was a tiny bit of Dragon Ball Z. And that was because I was at a friend's house. And it was like when I was like 13, 12 or even younger. So I barely remember anything of it. And knew that my parents didn't like us watching cartoons. They thought cartoons were basically brain rot. So they didn't really let us. Like anime <laughs> the devil. Yeah. Anime the devil. I the could devil. watch whatever the fuck I want to. If you're not going outside randomly at like 7 p.m. till midnight getting drunk off your ass like we did in the good old days, it's the <laughs> yeah, devil. <yeah. laughs> it's like, what the fuck? Like, it's like, bitch, what the fuck did you do for entertainment when you were younger? Oh, that's right. You had me. <laughs> that, that's oh, what yeah, happened with my family. family. Well, <laughs> it's like I mean that is kind of oh, true. Your parents were really young. Yeah, like uh, I had young parents, so it's like it's it's like they. I don't ever want to hear people try to fucking my family ever try to sass me about what the fuck I was doing it was like, <laughs> or what I do. It was just like oh, I mean you were a fucking games. little shit. I mean that's true too, but that's besides the point. <laughs> that was because I was fucking ADD or ADHD or some shit, and then they took me off my meds and never put me back on. And that could have something to do with how I'm fucked up in terms of focus nowadays. But who knows? Can't go check because I don't have health insurance. <laughs> 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 oh, being American. Oh, gotta I... love go, America. You need to America. get that shape. Uh, who knows? But I mean, I mean, we better move on from like like Chai's parents because I can already hear his mother's chunkler like coming off her foot <laughs> already. <laughs> but no, like, uh, bring it back to. <laughs> bring it back to. Uh... <laughs> to, well, I mean, for us it would be the belt, but anyway. Uh, bring it back to like what makes anime great. I, like, I think, um, I think more, more, like I was saying, like more of it being story, but like where it's more like original. Like, I don't mind them taking like an old concept or a, a normal concept, like a fantasy world, an isekai sort of stuff, just as long as they do something <laughs> new with it. And like, there's progression. Like, you actually feel like like they give enough time to get attached to the characters. And then you get an actual pro progression through the story. So it you feel like things are going on. You know what I mean? <sighs> like, uh, it can get yeah. tiring here seeing the OP Isekai character. Yeah, where they're just overpowered immediately at the very start. Like, sometimes it can be entertaining, but, like, it's been mm. overdone yeah. 
so much like to this point. Fuck no, give me more Overlord. <laughs> I mean, over, well, they have I mean, Overlord's different. Yeah, oh, the, that's the thing. Like they have like very interesting stuff going on at the same time to like mm, make like, it. It's more strategizing. Than, feel deserved. Like, and them. and like no. and not to mention like people never people always seem to forget like ninety percent of Overlord is just like side characters fucking around yeah. until one of the OP ones comes in, and it's just like. Yeah. They're basically just edging you for seven episodes until they finally have the <laughs> fucking what's like the butler walk in and just fucking one tap everybody and walk away. It's just like ah, there's the night. <laughs> that, that, that butler, I forget his name, but he is one hell of a character. Like, much a little bit disappointed because recently, like, uh, like on the most recent books, Sebius, Sebius, yeah, something like that. Yeah. Zub, zub, uh, but... zub, zub. <laughs> Yeah, on the most recent like few few novels, few few books, because of course I read the light novel. He hasn't appeared at all. Like he's been he's been Spoiler. forgotten about. Spoiler. <laughs> well, it's not, it's not Sebastian, <laughs> there we go. Sebastian, uh, there we go. Uh, didn't he call himself Sebus? Is like his fucking that that was mm. his like secret name, like his disguise <laughs> name. I gotta go undercover. Call me Sebus. <laughs> I think I genuinely call me Sammy. <laughs> <laughs> it's freaking dumb. But yeah, like, like like that for example, that's a really good isekai because like like you said, it doesn't really focus on him being OP. Like he doesn't just walk into the room and you know, but it's all like a fucking political yeah. game at the same time yeah. and like multiple characters all trying to hype themselves up only to get fucking one tap to the next episode. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's, it's the best of the, I really feel like the, the way they build it up, the way they, they prepare you for it, like you don't really, like you know what's going to happen, like you can be you're pretty solid that you know that, you know, Overlord or whoever is going to come along and you can sort out the situation and things going to happen, but there's still quite a lot of mystery in there that you don't really know exactly how it's going to happen, <laughs> whereas mm. compared to like, what was it, uh, what's, it, what's one, one of the recent OP? Uh, and I mean, and then it. they like try to get some of the weaker cast or like to fight what would be considered yeah. strong on the normal people side, like with the bug girl or whatever. Yeah, it becomes yeah. almost evenly matched when she's three v one with a fucking direct counter on her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. True. True. It's like it's every like, one yeah. of them is like a raid boss or a fucking dungeon boss on their own. So it's like yeah, you kind of like so it's like. While you're pretty confident to say that the main, like, main, like, what, like, 10 or something, like, the, the fucking super OP ones are probably safe, mm. it's the not always, guy. like, there's, there is things that can counter, like, some of the weaker ones or stuff like that, or, hip, like, the one, the vampire girl got hypnotized or whatever, mm. so it's Which like, isn't... <laughs> so you don't feel 100% <laughs> safe, like, no, no, and of course, like, that's also part of, like, the mystery of the world, like, it's not like these these OP ones where the guy just sort of walks in, and there's there's not even any mystery around it or anything. He exists. Just he wins. From situation to situation. Yeah, yeah, it's like uh, what's his name? There was one quite recent. Again, I read the light novels because it's kind of it's cute. It's sort of like laid back. I don't mind it, but it's Kuma Kuma, Bear Bear. Um, no idea. I think it actually says it three come times. Come. <laughs> <laughs> No, don't say it like that. <laughs> uh, come, come. <laughs> come, come. But yeah, no, come, that come. one, like, like you, you automatically, you already know that, that the main character, she's just going to walk into the situation. She's going to, everything's fine. There's no mystery there. It's sort of just like a really powerful person just living the way that they want. And it's, it the way that one does it, it's, it's still good. I find it. It's not amazing, but I still find it good. Because it's more about the, the, it focuses on different parts of the story. It's not just about her, you know, walking into a situation and, you know, beating every bad guy up in 12 seconds. But, <laughs> mm. um, but at, at the same way, like, there's no real mystery there. There's no, there's nothing. There's a tiny bit of mystery, but they kind of ignore it. And it's just sort I of mean, like, a good it's, anime entirely is like, it's so different like it depends on like what the show is what you're looking for in it oh, yeah like, yeah definitely there's too many fucking variables to go through it's just i guess it's just to put it like if it's well written like <laughs> if it's entertaining <laughs> yeah. like that's really the best way to put it and like entertainment is so like subjective like andis is entertained by one piece for a thousand episodes and uh i only get entertained by like one in ten 
of them, which mm. is why it's so much harder for me to like stick to One Piece with him because I just it feels too much. It feels like there's too much of a slog to the good bits for me, and yeah, that's also yeah. why like I didn't like watching Naruto or Bleach and like other stuff that much. I'm telling like, you now, we're gonna watch some more One Piece soon because we haven't I don't watched like, it in uh, over half a year. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't like having to sit through ten episodes for something interesting to happen. Or like for them to like get to the point, you know, like uh, there, you know, there's two people fighting, and then they start the fight, and then they pan over to some other fucking group of people doing fuck all, jerking off in the corner <laughs> for like three episodes, and then they get back to like the other guys, they're like, oh, we're back, and then they do like they they fight for like ten seconds, and then they're just like, okay, back to where the fuck over here. <laughs> it's just like, please. As you know, as as a writer, as somebody who's producing you know content like this you've you your job is to find what's the next interesting thing it's the next thing for people to consume it's not you know that's how you make money from it you don't make money from doing a passion project like like what i do with my writing my writing is a passion project it's all just me writing what i want to see in a book and writing it well and hoping it sells that's never going to work for me <laughs> like if you want to sell something you've got to adhere to you what the consensus of the audience is so you'll see that a lot if you get a really good show that will come out you'll find somebody will start copying it and there'll be copies and there'll be copies and there'll be copies i um, mean it, it just goes to, it, this is just like this is just how it is with everything in life like you yeah, have yeah. to follow the uh what the fuck is the song play <laughs> i feel like i'm in a circus <laughs> hold on <laughs> <laughs> pretty much uh basically yeah like in everything and like every aspect of life the popular thing is the thing that will generally get you more success it's like and i mean i'm a, i'm kind of like a, a victim of it as well in the sense that like mm. i don't like to play like what's the mainstream thing or the popular thing or like whatever is like the most like a trending thing like usually i'll just do whatever the fuck i want to do like I'm <laughs> and uh generally it doesn't actually do me much favors i mean <laughs> it's like back when i used to play uh if i would stream vr chat i'd get like double or triple yep. the views and stuff like that it's just like i, but I like... don't enjoy it though and it's like i don't want to do things i don't enjoy just for the sake of getting clout you know like <laughs> even if it does I mean, end like, up like killing me i guess <laughs> also though thinking Gina? about it from back there it's also sort of like uh, you happen to be in vr chat doing your thing at the right time to then you have you like sort of build up an audience and so, and so forth so like it's worked both ways for you i guess like, i mean you happen uh, to it... be that popular thing and now <laughs> you're just doing what you want <laughs> now i just do what i want and now nobody watches <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't know. It's just, it just goes to show like uh, it's it, it's hard to like keep that balance because like if you're always following the trends and like following whatever's going on and trying to like build yourself up, you it it kind of like kills <clears throat> the authenticity at some point. Yeah, yeah. Or and you also have to keep putting more and more effort into it to make it entertaining and like stuff like that. And like I. I'm the kind of person that burns out very quickly, so <laughs> that is not very sustainable for me. That's why I try to just do things that I want to do, that way it's like I actually enjoy doing it. <laughs> Fairly honest though, like with, with Twitch, obviously, you know, things change, but I mean, once you've sort of built up that sort of like regular audience, that sort of, that, when you've got your audience on like Twitch and you're being genuine most of the time, like most of the time <laughs> well, most, you, know, you, know I mean? like, you, you might do a few skits where you play up a little bit like you play it you make you make yourself like a little bit more offended about something that you actually are how you know, dare you <laughs> exactly um but yeah like i do find like yeah you know considering i this is considering the idea that your audience's life don't change like i do feel like you will build up this sort of like core audience and the core audience doesn't really leave you know what I mean? Like looking at uh, looking at myself, like uh, when I was doing my drumming, like I got up to like a consistent like seven views, which is pretty good, uh, not not too bad. And then of course I had more of a recent time where I'm not really streaming as much. But when I come back to streaming on my usual days, I still find that like it's not it's not always seven, but it's still closer to that number despite the fact it being a very long time since I've been doing it. If you know what I mean? 
And I find mm. that interesting. I wonder if that's something that's going to continue on because you're gen genuine. It's more like you're going over to your friend's house, you know. Like, I don't. Uh, I, like I, I, I I can never really know for sure because, like, me as a person myself, am not very. It's hard for me to understand the appeal to it because I don't really like watching streams myself. <laughs> I very rarely watch streams. So it's like... <laughs> I watch quite a lot of streams. So it's actually like, I don't even know how the fuck it works out. Like, But yeah, like I, I can understand like there's like the whole like core people who like tend to show up to my streams very frequently like it's so it's it's so weird whenever i i feel like it's a fucking bizarre day when orbally doesn't comment first in the <laughs> fucking <laughs> and redeem everything at the start of stream it's like what the fuck <laughs> like huh orbally's Who the not fuck here. Are you? if i don't have to fucking ada ada at the start of stream because orbally redeemed it every day it like feels off now because he does it every time <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's almost like the one day that he's not sh shown up. It's like you almost want to like call him and just say, like, you, you all right, bro? You, you're doing yeah. good? Did Orbley's so uh, phone break? Oh, no. You don't like my error. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, like, like using that, like, uh, I know that Nags, I mean, obviously I watch Nags quite a bit. Uh, I'll probably watch him tonight as well. But like he always puts it as the analogy is like, everyone in chat is just like a mate that's that's just going over to the friend's house and the friend just happens to have the biggest house so you just hang out there kind of thing and that in a way it sort of makes uh my entire goal nice or but nice <laughs> <laughs> i mean that sort of thing like makes sense to me like it's the reason why i, I come and watching you shy is is not only because it's quite entertaining to watch you play the games but it's because i get a conversation between you and myself and we're quite similar people so it's sort of like i'm just talking to a mate online and he happens to be you know playing the game and so on and so forth that's that's how i view it anyway and it's the same sort of thing uh although with other you know with other streamers like nags again i just feel like i'm like hanging out with nags as a as a friend sort of like that what's it parasocial relationship yeah but then thinking about it like when i go and see a new streamer or a streamer i don't see that often it'd be more like entertaining because it's like going to a comedy club and you're heckling the the, the comedian on stage like, i do find that a lot with like chibi streams i like, think it's, it's like a sense of like familiarity yeah. basically yeah and like yeah. It, it also depends on like how big the streamer is or how things like mm. there's a lot of different things because it's like obviously you it's easier to build a connection to a smaller streamer because they have less people to talk to and like stuff like mm. that but then at the same time like it's generally i feel like it's kind of, it's kind of weird because it's like big streamers have easier access to like just random like you know comedy entertainment sort of things but oh, it's yeah. a lot harder to build a connection to that sort of person all right yeah. everybody just say goodbye everybody press the not button are you going to say goodbye now andes no, that is my goodbye. That's not a fucking goodbye. You don't just <laughs> nut and just say goodbye. Hello. <laughs> That's what I did when I was over there. Uh, oh my oh. fucking god. Alright, goodbye everybody. We're leaving. It's a lot. <laughs>